Shalom, Hebrews. All right. This is um, Hebrew Israelite group leader in Augusta, Georgia. Um, you know, I'm a community leader. I've been dealing with people for a long time in the area. And I'm doing this quick video to show how evil these people are. You see, look at this. Yeah, these are supposed to be Christians. See how they got... These bastards used to treat me real bad. And look how the Most High is dealing with them. Uh -huh. These bastards are dying. And I'm seeing it all over in these black communities around the country, uh, especially in the South, where the Christian churches are prominent. A lot of people in the black families are dying. Why? Because they're wicked and evil. These bastards call themselves Christians, especially these bitches, man. No sense of finding a husband. You, you know, the Most High send the right man to them. And they want to, you know, diss them, disrespect them, lie to them. You, you know, and, and black people are actually... Do, um, doing more to help white America systematically destroy their own people. Okay? And, and I, I know these people uh, personally. These bastards were treating me, you know, I'm out there on the street corners preaching and all that. Look at that. Yeah, especially um, the dude who, who they um, put on the stretcher, who they brought into the house. His wife is a real bastard. She was always talking shit disrespecting me you know the daughter wicked and evil not being submissive and, and doing what they can to hurt ministers who are out there in the community trying to set up schools and build black businesses in the area this is what's happening the most high is fulfilling the curses that he put in Deuteronomy okay he, he's bringing it out and he's destroying these wicked people you see what I'm saying? He's bringing them out. Now, I got Bible scripture. I'm going to get with that. Because I, I like to always deal um, in Bible scripture. Because um, Mosiah is taking these bastards out. And I like to see stuff like that because um, and it, it's happening all over. All right. So get your Bibles out. So, yeah, I be I, I run a transportation business. So not only I be out <laughs> um, uh, preaching and stuff like that, but I'd be picking up the elderly people and and taking them to medical appointments and stuff like that. So I have my own tra um, um, transportation business. It's called Blessed Transportation. And um, I'll be setting up a, a GoFundMe page and um, uh, getting a Facebook uh, business, uh, you know, business cards and, and a business homepage for our transportation business. Helping black people in the community and, you know, people, because a lot of them, you know, especially women, don't have their own transportation. OK, so they're looking for people you know, like myself who have uh, a vehicle who can take them to, you know, places where they want to go, whether it's out shopping and stuff like that. So I've been doing that for a while. OK, um, just last week, I took a woman to Golden Corral who had no means uh, of transportation. So um, and, and make a little money for gas and, and, and stuff like that. So it, it's building up. OK. But anyway, in scripture, and I'm going to turn to Deuteronomy. Dealing with the curses, man. This is how wicked our people are. Deuteronomy 28. All right. And I'm going to start with... Um, I'm going to start with Deuteronomy 28 and 64, okay? And the Most High, our power, 
will scatter you among all peoples. Okay, and that precepts um, Acts chapter 2. Okay, and then Galatians, um, Galatians 3.15, I believe. And, um, and Romans 9, 8 and 9, Romans 8 and 9. How the Most High, um, when he scattered our people, he, it, as it tells us in, in, in Jeremiah 17, we were discontinued from our heritage. So we were no longer called Israelites. Okay? And bywords were put in place, like niggers and stuff like that. And we were scattered, and even our own people in, in ancient times started calling us Gentiles. So we were scattered and took on the ways of the heathen. So it, that's a curse, and you see that happen in America today. Okay? From one end of the earth to the other, and there you shall serve other gods. Okay? Like Christianity, Islam. Okay, and there you shall serve other gods of wood and stone, backing up what I just said, and which neither you nor your fathers have known. So the Most High would break us down to the point that, um, you know, we would really, really um, be downtrodden. Why? Because of how we treat one another. Okay, the women disrespecting the men, all of that, putting the woman over the man. Children shall be our oppressors. We you got gangs is a big thing in, in Augusta. That's why I carry my gun permit. I always have it with me. And, um, you know, I always carry a piece handy. Okay. Um, so, you, you know, I, I don't play with that. Okay. So um, you, you have to defend yourself. Okay. Verse 65, and among these nations, you shall find no respite, no peace. That's why, and that's why I had to do this video. You see, a lot of our people are dying off. You see? And I'm seeing this all over the black community. You see? It's, it's, it's getting more and more run down. You see that? Why? You see that house with the American flag? Because we're taking on the ways of the Gentiles. You see? We're not honoring God's laws, his statutes, and his commandments. That's why it tells us in, Zach in, in Isaiah, the book of Isaiah and Zechariah, the Most High is only dealing with a remnant at this point. Okay? All right? And there you shall be, there shall be no resting place for the sole of your foot. We always be working, struggling, and getting nowhere. You know, like in that TV show, Good Times. Okay. But the Most High, our power, will give you there a trembling heart and failing eyes and a languishing soul. Okay. Even amongst the wicked people in my family, my relatives, um, is surrounded by death. You got, you know, literally people dying off. I lost an uncle uh, about a month ago. You know, his house was burned down with him in it. And, 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 and all this was done by a white man. You see that? Um, so my, my father is suffering from Lou Gehrig's disease. This is stuff that's not common. Um, Lou Gehrig's disease is not coming, common among black men. So it, it, it lets you know these are the curses. And I could go on and on. If you, you have to read the whole chapter for yourself, it lists all the curses that we're going through. Okay? Look at this. You know, black man walking. You know? Children shall be your oppressors. See that? I don't know if you can see him. You see that punk walking around? Look at that. Rather than being in the school, getting a job finding a wife or something you see so I, I found, you know it's systematically being destroyed while good black um hebrew israelites um men like myself are being jerked around you see 
is actually the men of God who um, the scriptures tell us uh, the most high um, he chastens who he loves. So the downtrodden and all of that, Christ was bringing that out in, in, Matthew, in the book of Matthew, uh, chapter 19, dealing with the rich man. Okay. For a rich man, a woman to get into the kingdom of heaven is it, like a camel going through the eye of a needle. All right. Christ himself um, complained how he didn't even have a place to lay his head. So the Most High is not dealing with rich or well-to-do people. Okay. Who are serving him. You see that? But we are under these curses. And for those who are not repentive and trying to change their ways, um, these curses will be their, um, their, their physical and spiritual downfall. Okay. <clears throat> Verse 66, your life shall hang in doubt before you. Black men getting shot down in the streets. Night and day you shall be in dread and have no assurance of your life. Okay? You know, people getting killed left and right. And when it comes to the court system, um, people get away. They're not even charged. The man who killed my uncle, um, you know, they arrested him and then turned around and let him go. So there's no sense of justice when it comes to crimes against our people. And that's what it's, it's referring to here. All these curses point to the true people of God. In the morning, you shall say, if if only it were evening. That's right. You're so stressed. You hurry up to, to get through the day. And at evening, you shall say, if only it were morning, because of the dread that your heart shall feel and the sight and the sights of your eyes shall see. That's right. We'll be we'll be tired day and night of seeing our community destroyed, our people suffering, being um, harassed by the police, being harassed by each other. All right, black on black crime. That's a, that's a curse too. Your eyes shall be evil towards your brother. You see that? So all this is Bible prophecy. All right, sixty-eight. This is my favorite last verse. Then I'm gonna wrap it up. And the Most High shall bring you back in ships to Egypt. All right. This is after we left Egypt. So this is spirit. This is a prophecy describing another land that would be like Egypt. And if you look at your dollar bill and you study the history of this country, which was founded by Freemasons, and you know, what do they worship? Everything dealing with Egypt. So the Bible is telling you here. OK, what in the last days, um, what nation would be like Egypt and would have our people, um, God's children in captivity? And it's America. So it's, it's talking about your transatlantic slavery here. A journey that I promise that you shall never take again. See that? So America would be our last captivity. And there you sh shall offer yourselves for sale to your enemies, male and female slaves. And only the so-called Negroes were treated like this. You know, yes, I, I've, I've studied history. I have a, a degree in history and I'm a history scholar and a book author. And um, so I know history and, and Bible history um, fairly well. And you, you, one of the biggest lies they'll put out there is that all people were enslaved. That's not true um, um, at all. Only one type of people were enslaved, according to the Bible, at this magnet of this magnitude of biblical proportions, and that was the so-called Negroes. So it's telling you right here, God is telling in Scripture, Bible prophecy that happened way before the transatlantic slavery. This was given. This um, insight was given to Moses of what would befall the descendants of the ancient Israelites. So it's pointing to us as God's people, so-called Negroes. But there will be no buyer. Or in other translations, it will say, no one will buy you. Okay? Meaning that no one will get us out of this captivity. You see that? All right. Um, Martin Luther King couldn't do it. Malcolm X couldn't do it. <laughs> Least of all, all the women that they put out as leaders 
and I'm bringing it forth. Um, um, Rosa Parks and, and, and all these black uh, pioneer women, they were not heroes. Maya Angelou and all that, all that crap it, they put out is, is a farce, is lies, okay? All right, a, a lot of things they fabricated um, using um, American history and all that, and a lot of it they constructed um, to make black history, and it was it was done to keep us still, okay? And there's books and information coming out on it how Rosa Parks was a communist, how, um, um, th these, this is facts, how Coretta Scott w was in on the plan to have her husband assassinated, you know, Jesse Jackson, all of that, they all knew about it, so um, our people who helped build this country were also part of the Masonic, Masonic um, uh, construct, the, 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 the agenda to, to keep us you know, in our captivity, which is why our, our people, our communities are, dis are are destroyed today. You know, read Hosea chapter four. And then when you get to verse six, our people perish for lack of knowledge. So I suggest you do your research, okay, and wake up. You know, they got cures for these diseases, you know, where it be Lou Gehrig's disease and all that. The medical industry is part of the eugenics program started by a, um, the um, pioneer of feminism, Margaret Sanger. Okay. And then you got Albert Pike, the guy who started the KKK, Jewish people. They've been at the helm of all of our suffering. All right. Read Revelation 2 9 and Revelation 3 9, the synagogue of Satan. Okay. Those are the fake Jews who are occupying our homeland. So this is the kind of edification that we, we need if we're going to wake up as a people and break these curses. We need to change, repent of our ways. It's not hate teaching, okay? All right? This is, thus saith the Lord. All right? So you, you, you got to read and get out of that religious programming. It's what Christ was trying to bring forth um, with Nicodemus in the book of Matthew. You know, you got to unlearn all that brainwashing that you learn because we were shaped in iniquity and fed lies. And you got white people bringing this forth. You know, I did a book. I wrote a, I published a book. I suggest you read it. It's on, um, you can get a hard copy. Uh, um, it's on lulu.com. It's called The True Jesus Christ of the Holy Bible. Very good read. All right. So um, wake up, wake up people or you will be destroyed. And, and, and you're not going to get away with disrespecting um, God's chosen men who are out here, the elders of the Lord, and trying to wake up our people. You see me out in the streets and, 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 and doing what I can, preaching and, and putting forth videos and then, and then running a black-owned business. Be supportive. Subscribe. Okay? Because all you're doing is hurting yourself because the Lord is with me. The Holy Spirit is inside of me, and I'm not going to stop, okay? I'm, and, and I will, as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord, and we're going to make it into the kingdom, all right? So for my brothers and sisters out there who, who are down in the truth, keep, keep pushing, keep being faithful to the Most High, and operating with sincerity and truth, okay? This is Brother Ezariah. Shalom. Stay out of trouble and keep a low profile because the devil is, is, is coming after us hard. Read Revelation chapter 12. Satan has deceived the whole world and he won't stop until he gets the whole remnant of the house of Israel.